Hello, everyone. I'm Chi-Chun Zhang, a research associate working with Professor Fabrizio Scarper. My talk today is about the manufacturing and the mecha mechanics of oxalic forms. Oxalic material is a kind of material with negative potential ratio caused by the reentrant structure or the rotational structure uh, inside the material. Uh, it has some uh, peculiar properties, uh, such as the synclastic behavior. When under bending, the oxalic material should can uh, deform like the dome shape compared with the sandal shape of the conventional material, uh, which is good for the comfort of body support. And also, oxalic material uh, have better indentation resi resistance, also the resistance to high shear deformation, improve the fracture resistance, uh, variable permeability, and high energy absorption cap capacity. Among different oxalic materials, the oxalic polymetric forms uh, is the most successful example uh, because it, it can be converted directly from the commercially available uh, form material. In the first research, uh, we developed the high stiffness oxalic form using the vacuum bag uh, autoclave uh, in uh, high temperature and uh, uh, high pressure. Uh, it can be found that the uh, inner structure of the oxidative form is much denser than the preceding one. And also the oxidative form shows very strong uh, transverse astropic uh, property. Um, the re structure of the curved rib uh, introduced the oxidicity and we measured the uh, portion ratio and the uh, yes, modulus of this uh, oxalic form and found uh, the modulus of this form is much higher uh, than the conventionally made um, oxalic forms. However, it's too complicated to use autoclave to make oxalic forms. Uh, so in the next research, we simplified the method to use this kind of unilaterally compression thermoforming method to make oxalic forms. Now, this method is very easily uh, to scale up to make very big oxalic uh, form blocks. And first, we use the high resolution CT scan method to obtain the inner structure of the pristine and oxalic forms and study the uh, topological characteristics of, this, of these materials and then build the FE model based, the, based on the uh, CT scan results. And it is found the, the simulation result shows quite good agreement with the experimental result. Uh, the, both the pristine and the conventional uh, form uh, shows higher modulus under tension uh, than under compression. And then we studied the dynamic properties of the offset form. Firstly, uh, with a small string and high frequency, we built this uh, transmissibility test rig to measure the uh, oxidative forms uh, with different parameters to obtain their, their transfer function. Uh, from the transfer function, we can calculate the dynamic modulus and the loss factor of the oxidative forms with different uh, parameters. We also build a, a poroelastic poro model to uh, study the dynamic performance of this kind of porous material. And then, uh, we build the uh, three-point bending rig to study the uh, dynamic property of oxide forms with large amplitude and low frequency, which is uh, similar to the application of body support. And from the test result, we found that the oxide form, especially the one with 80% uh, thermoforming compression ratio, shows the best uh, damping uh, performance. And finally, uh, we build this small drop tower rig to measure uh, the impact performance of the oxalic form of this kind of soft porous material. Uh, the left one is the conventional form, and the middle one is the oxalic form impacted along the thermal forming direction, uh, uh, which, which shows the zero Poisson ratio phenomenon. And the right one is the oxidative form impacted along the lateral direction, uh, which shows a strong oxidicity. 
And from the fourth curve, uh, it is found that uh, the oxide form, especially when impacted along the lateral direction, uh, shows uh, the most significant reduction uh, on force, which is uh, good for uh, impact pro protection. Um, that's all for my presentation. Uh, thanks for your attention.